Ray Zhang asks me on Quora, can you patent a revolutionary life-saving invention without any intention of actually selling it? That is just to evilly deny humanity the invention. I'm Andre Mink of the founder of Trademark Factory and here's my answer to this question. This is actually a great question uh, because it will allow me to explain how the patent system works. Now, just to be clear, I'm not a patent attorney. We don't do patents, but I've been in this industry for so long. I've written so many books that cover different areas of intellectual property that uh, I understand the, the basics. So when you file a patent application, the deal between yourself and the government between yourself and the intellectual property office is that in order to get your invention patented, you are required to disclose everything that's necessary for uh, people after you to recreate that invention after your patent expires. So that's kind of the deal with patents. Uh, you can't just get a patent and keep it to yourself. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So with patents, uh, you have to fully describe all the mechanics that make your invention work. And then, assuming that your invention is indeed revolutionary, you're gonna get a patent on that and uh, you're gonna have a monopoly on uh, being able to use or sell that patent. But when your patent expires, and that's the bad thing about patents, when your patent expires, and it's not gonna be very long, so the whole life of a patent is 20 years after it was filed, and it typically takes around five years to get it registered, so at best you get 15 years of monopoly protection. After it expires, because you have disclosed your invention to the world, then the humanity will have full access to what you have invented uh, and they won't have to ask your permission to use it. They'll just be able to go at it. That's what happens with generic drugs, right? So first, Big Pharma invests millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars coming up with a new drug. They get a patent on that they make millions and millions and millions selling the drug in a short period of time. Uh, and then after the patent expires, then we start getting all those generics that use the same formula that was disclosed in the original patent and they can reproduce and make the same drug. Uh, what they cannot do, what generic companies cannot do uh, is call their drugs the same way as the original because that is protected by a trademark, but that's a totally different story. So with this case, once you've disclosed it, once your patent expires, now it's open for the whole world to use with a, without any issues, all right? And uh, to go back to the original question, do you have to have a real intention to use, to sell, uh, the the product the that's covered by the invention no uh, as long as you have invented it it's perfectly okay for you to forward this invention to yourself file the patent and you're still gonna get that monopoly as long as all the other patentability requirements are met such as novelty the obviousness and uh, usefulness so all of that uh, will, like I said, give you a very short period of time during which you can enforce that monopoly against anybody else. But after that, you're put in a situation when, uh, even though you were so evil to try to get that 15 or so years of being the only one who can utilize that invention, okay, uh, then after that, it's fair game for everyone else to use that so you won't be able to hoard it to yourself for a very long time. And another part of it is since you mentioned humanity, 
patents are done on a per country basis. So just because you've got your patent in the US doesn't mean anything outside the US. So if you really want to hoard your invention from the humanity, what you're going to have to do is get your patent registered in pretty much every country in the world. Because otherwise, if you don't do that, then somebody else can uh, look at your patent. Let's say you got a US patent, they look at your patent, uh, they look at the formula that you've disclosed or whatever other way you've disclosed your invention and described your invention so that it's uh, re easily recreatable by somebody else. They look at that, they go to the country where you don't have a patent and they can fully, legally make your invention there. So let's say if it's some sort of a life-saving drug uh, or a life-saving procedure or whatever it is, right? So you, you got your US patent, great. Uh, somebody can set up a company in Canada or in Mexico or in Zanzibar or wherever uh, and start offering that same drug, same procedure to people out there and if it's really a revolutionary life-saving thing well chances are uh, even americans will find out about it and uh, they'll be able to travel to america i'm sorry to uh, canada to mexico to zanzibar or wherever uh, those other people will be able to take advantage of your invention so you know in practical terms it's very, very, very difficult to do that. And uh, it's impossible to do it for a very long time anyway. So really, if you've got a great invention uh, and you don't want others to find out about it, probably a better way to do it is not to disclose it to the world. Just keep it as a trade secret. But of course, the risk with that is somebody else can figure it out. Uh, or if you're planning to just use it to yourself, well, uh, you have to keep it secret. You have to make sure that you're covering yourself every step of the way with all sort of non-disclosure agreements and stuff like that, which is also pretty difficult with uh, life-saving revolutionary inventions. So I hope this answers your question. And uh, if you found this video interesting and you're not subscribed to this channel yet, well, Duh, subscribe to this channel right now because we post these videos every single day. And uh, if you got a question for me that has something to do with intellectual property or uh, branding or trademarks in particular, make sure you ask this question. And the best way to do it is just post a comment below and I uh, look at every comment and I try to respond to them all. And uh, some of them I actually create a video just like this one when I uh, provide a detailed answer because to me it's easier to just record a video than to type it, type and type and type. Alright? Until then, I'll see you in the next video.